Hey everybody! It's time for Shovel Knight by Yacht Club Games. I don't think they've made anything else before, but after playing about an hour and just a couple levels, this game is absolutely amazing. Uh, we're gonna start from scratch, obviously, because I want to show everybody everything, and that's all I've done. Just 55 minutes. Uh, let's see. I can't put my full name here, unfortunately. Whoop, whoop. There we go. So, uh, that's how I'll... Yeah, that's Werewolf S, and that's W Snake. It makes perfect sense. Hey, Silver. How you doing? I also love the plot. Of which you can all read for yourselves. will also auto scroll, so I don't even have to really pay attention. But the artwork, the character design, everything is just fantastic so far. And it's a rather simple plot, but I actually do like it. It uh it suits the game very well. A game that so far I've identified it being a cross between Mario 3 Mega Man and Link 2, which is a, like a crazy awesome combination of games to go for. And of course, the Enchantress and the Order of No Quarter. I, I have to say that's pretty nice. Yeah, I, just, I like everything about this game. Which is why we're gonna do the entire goddamn thing. Probably, well, I don't know how long this game is. But we're going to do a lot of it tonight and tomorrow. Shoveling time. So, pretty basic. You know, attack. Very important. You can downstrike. You can also shovel pretty much everything. This game's all about collecting money. Everything turns into money. Everything's money. The monsters are money. The ground is money. The walls are usually secret money. But you know what? Just a second. There are secrets all over the place in this game. And... Uh, like, they're the secrets that you expect. Like the, oh, you should go backwards when you begin a level to see if there's anything behind you. Oh, this isn't one of them. The second level is one of those levels where if you go behind you the moment you start, there's a secret. Uh, enemies do not keep res- well, they keep respawning, but they don't respawn with money in their bellies. You can, however, play, uh, areas over again. Pits are death. Just, you know, on my first playthrough, I just jumped in to see what happened. And it killed me. Surprise, surprise. And Fethel and DCL are here. Uh, it's- oh shit. I was looking at chat, not looking at the pile of money. Uh, it's just a very classic game. It, it just feels retro. I love it. There are secrets everywhere. Usually they're marked in some fashion. Uh, these are checkpoints. Pretty self-explanatory. There's a lot of platforming. Uh, the platforming can get pretty tricky too, especially in the secret areas. I don't know if Spike skins to kill you. I honestly don't know. I haven't fallen on one yet. And there's a lot of mini bosses, which I incredibly appreciate. Very reminiscent of Mega Man. Uh, I don't know what the hell the point of. He skulls is yet. But I think I can bounce him against the... Some of them against the wall? I think you can hit people with them too. I'm sure I'm missing something about them. But maybe they're just flavor. A lot of this game is just flavor. And this is the proper introduction to Secret Walls. 
And there's just money everywhere. You're just collecting money all over the place. Oh. Sometimes the walls hold up. And of course, we had to figure it out. Secrets. And what I really like is whenever you're digging one of these holes, one of these uh, money, money mining vein, money veins, uh, it will never fall off. Or at least so far, I've never seen it to fall off. They've designed them in such a way in each area that you won't lose anything if you're too uh, too greedy. The ones on the walls are a little harder to see. Oh, that's still not bad. There's lots of fun stuff using monsters as bouncing pads. Making sure you pay attention to your surroundings before you just hack everything, otherwise you can grab this. Tons of money. And it's just a little bit of puzzle, a little bit of platform, a little bit of fighting. Lots of weird. And chickens. So I guess there's a Castlevania reference for you. There's no up attack. So I don't think there'll ever be a hidden, uh, hidden treasure above you. Those little dragons actually do have an attack pattern. In the first area, they just don't seem to give a shit. They're just like, hey, I'm okay, bro. Here's the first real, hey, look, platforming. Can you do it? Do you know how to platform, bro? That's what this game is asking. I'm answering yes. At least a little bit. I love games like Super Meat Boy, so... And, obviously, the original games that this is... Too. Oh. And sometimes there are secrets within secrets, so be sure to check. And then secrets that aren't marked. Which... I already knew about this... Wow, just getting my ass kicked. Uh, yes, there are food items, like carrots that heal you. And then I just... It's just satisfying to see him digging into that treasure chest and just pulling out money. Just being like, yeah, I'm a badass. It's just good. It's a good feeling. Interestingly enough, the boss uh, meter in the top right does actually indicate the... Uh, the amount of health the boss of this area is going to have. Oh, oh they got tricky. You had to learn how to do this. That fight may have been a little, a little more tricky if you were actually trying to just punch him in the face. Or shovel him in the face. Come here, bro. Come here, bro. Oh. So this tutorial level really does uh, give a good feeling for what the rest of the game's gonna be like. And it just does it really well. And in case you don't know how to stop doing this, if you just swing your shovel, you'll be able to stop. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in a loop. Because once you start putting pointing down, you can't actually stop. And the money is used for something, it's not just points, by the way. But we'll go over that once we, uh... ...get to the town. More treasure, more just hidden areas. 
lot of content. Oh, fuck. Nothing there. But, like I said, don't worry about losing stuff. You can either replay levels and get more stuff, or just move forward. But there'll always be stuff there. Rolls off the tongue. Steal thy shovel. First boss of the game? He's not. I mean, when you first play, he's not the easiest. Because he has a weird pattern. When he's laughing, is probably the easiest time to hit him. What are you gonna do about it? Bam! I don't know what that feat was, but alright. I've already gotten- you get achievements like fucking crazy in this. Recurring character, I'm assuming. I don't actually know if he's gonna be alive the next time we fight or not. Um... I don't know what I was gonna say. But, oh! Feats and achievements. Tons of achievements. You get achievements for doing a lot of stuff. It's just it's satisfying. Uh... So Shield Knight is a chick, in case you couldn't tell. And uh, apparently, your ha shovel knight's having some dreams about her. And uh, you actually have to wake yourself up by jumping. And you could just walk away, but that's not what Smokey the Bear would do. And I say that because you actually uh, get an achievement with the title "Only You," which I'm I'm sure you can clue that in together. And the Mario 3 overworld map. What the hell? I know other games have done it like this, but this still reminds me the most of Mario 3. We even have... Oh, I can't even go past this yet. On the right, you can see locks, and you have to beat those specific bosses in order to unlock those locks. Talk to everyone. The big guys, the horse people, the wavy text. Just, it's a happy, happy town. Most importantly, talk to NPCs who aren't moving because they're usually important. Like the bard. He needs his music sheets, which we found one of them in the tutorial area. And... Oh, actually, no, we found two, didn't we? I just... I love the dialogue. It's really charming. Uh, but he is... a music player. Wait. Oh, actually, this is, uh... Is this including the music I found on my other character? Oh no, these are the ones you start with. Oops. And let's see, so we found these. And you can just listen to the music as you're moving around. Look at him go. He's doing it. 
and then some NPCs are just kind of creepy. This is the guy who gives you maximum health. If you can bring him a meal ticket, which the goat Titian, slightly beneath me, uh, actually sells them. Yeah, sure. And here's what money's for. Buying permanent health upgrades, among other things. idea what that is. But it gave me a whole new piece of health. Whole new... Not a hard piece, but... Eh, it's pretty similar. She can increase your ma maximum magic. But you need... Uh, you need to talk to Chester first. You need an actual relic, which you can find in the town or uh, out in the field. It seems to me like these individuals will do things for you or give you things when you defeat certain bosses. Like King Knight. This NPC is great. It'll tell you everything you've done. Oh, we've been playing for 14 minutes so far. 